Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. So after the last episode, I made a couple of um, I carried on building up the um, the wood construction facility here and I went out hunting for interesting tree types. And so I've now and I've now got four of these things building up the um, the seeds here and pumping them down to uh, countless um, arboretums down here. So we've got a decent rate of wood flowing out now fairly steadily as these trees come through and uh, go into these these machines over here but otherwise it's still basically the same idea now after having looked at this I see that the the limiting factor along here at least is the amount of is the amount of mud coming in for being to being made into soil but looking down here these seem to be keeping up reasonably happily so I don't think I actually have a problem with that at the moment um, I may come back and have a look at this we'll see uh, so I think I'm probably gonna call this good enough for now and in fact if I have a look over here I suspect I'm going to see that yes. So as you can see, as you can see here, the um, the wood has built up all the way back to to here on one side of the belt, and it's getting longer quick quickly as well, and up to ooh, I don't know, okay, up to about up to here on the other side of the belt. So we are definitely producing the wood faster than it's being uh, used up at this point. So I think I'm quite happy with this at the moment, and I'm just going to leave that running running as it is. Oh, and I can label this with a blue science uh, bottle because that's where it's being made. Um, no science isn't in there. No. Yes. Maybe. That one. Okay. So that was the first of the two things I was um, planning to do based on the feedback I got from um, from bravely posting on Reddit. The other one was the um, the iron production. I think I, was, I talked about this quite a lot in the last episode because I wasn't sure whether it was worth it. I sort of had a bit of a poke at the numbers and I reckoned that roughly the same amount of... Um, that whilst yes there were better ways or other way more complicated ways to turn sapphirite into iron they didn't seem to have that much of a benefit as far as the actual amount of iron produced goes so since then i've crunched the numbers as you can see here uh, and i reckon so from doing it doing it the the very simplistic way that i've got running over over here where we're just crushing the sapphirite and then turning it into and then running it through furnaces to turn it straight into iron plates that turns that turns three Plate three pieces of sapphirite into crushed sapphirite, or actually, you know, one piece of sapphirite ore turns into one piece of crushed sapphirite. Two, three of those turn into two iron plates. So it's it's a ratio of about two thirds. It's producing two thirds as much iron plates as it is producing um, as there is sapphirite going in at the beginning of it. So it's that's pretty good. Um, by going in and making it significantly more complicated by taking the crushed sapphirite, sorting it into iron ore, uh, processing it into processed iron, and then ingots and molten iron and into plates, I can get that up to three quarters, so that's a 10%, just over 10% increase. But if I put iron pellets in there as well, then it goes up to one to one overall. So one piece of sapphirite ore eventually gets turned into one iron plate. So that is that is a bit of a boost, but it involves running it through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different processes to get it there. Another thing I can do is um, turn the iron ore into, uh, sorry, the sapphirite, the crushed sapphirite into sapphirite chunks through a flotation cell, which is what I've been doing with the Jiva lights um, here. Yes, these flotation, no. Um, ah, yes, here, here we go, this one. Um, turn the Jiva light, the crushed Jiva light is getting turned into Jiva light chunks here and these little things as well. So I could do the same with the, with the sapphirite. But that doesn't actually improve the amount of sapphirite I get out very much. In fact, it goes from four to two to six to two, so I actually get only only get two thirds as much. But I do get a lot of side products as well. So I get um, let's look this up. Yeah. So so when I when I then process the sapphirite chunks, I get yeah okay I get two iron ore out, but I also get copper, silicon, and nickel. And those may, may be useful. Copper certainly is useful in general, but I'm not sure I want to start having miscellaneous um, copper production in the middle of my iron production. That's just going to make it more complicated. There are also various um, various ways of turning th things into iron ingots. So you can turn, you can do iron ore, press, uh, what? No, that's wrong. Sorry, make, make, sorry, making molten iron, you can make it just from iron ingots. You, um, you, you can make it from iron and manganese, you can make it from iron and silicon. So if I was making lots of extra silicon, I could potentially turn that into, um, into, into iron as well. <clears throat> Or I can do it with iron and nickel and cobalt, or with chrome, iron and nickel. So there's, there's a variety of options there, uh, which allow you to make your molten iron in various ways of varying efficiency, I guess. Um, this also possibly is a way to produce steel as well. 
if I decide I don't like the current way of producing steel. Which, again, somebody told me that this this method isn't is supposed to have been removed in the um, in the full Angel Bob's run. But you know, it's there, it's working. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that alone for now at least. However, the other other thing you can do, <laughs> and I promise I'll get around to actually playing the game at some point, is there's a method of turning. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. This one. If you have mineral catalysts, you can turn sapphirite and jeevalite into just iron ore. Um, and I think, and that seems to be more efficient because you're getting a direct one to one. Well, two two sapphirite, two jeevalite to four iron. So that's sort of one to one of the different ores. Um, and that's about twice as good as doing it from the crushed sapphirite. So that seems like something worth going for. But you do need these mineral catalysts, which require mineral sludge, which is made from thermal water. But I've got some here that I haven't started digging up yet. And I think there was some down. Yeah, there's a load a load down here as well. <clears throat> So this this is potentially the next stage after. So I've got two possibilities here, and I think I'll probably do the first one first and then build the second one up later once I've pro probably do it later anyway. We'll see how it goes. Um, or maybe just adapt the first one actually, because it's only the first stage that needs to be changed. So what I think I'm probably going to do is set up a system that will turn, that will take in the sapphirite ore, which I'm getting from all of these mines, and then and then run it through the more longer and more complicated process. And I'll probably build that up somewhere down here. <laughs> you reckon we don't, we're not going to have anyone? At this time of night, yes. What time is it? Eight oh, o'clock. eight o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. I've just been brought chocolate. And whilst I'm yeah, chocolate's delicious, but it's also completely derailed my train of thought. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Ah yeah, so I'll build up a system for for dealing with all of this sapphirite, train in the um, sapphirite ore from all of these mines, somewhere probably around about here because there's lots of space. Uh, maybe I just, if I start it here, and then I can just explode, expand out over this way, and I can bridge over this um, belt. That's not good. So that can grow out this way. I don't know how big it's going to end up being, but I don't think it really matters. I've got I've got quite a lot of space down here, and it's not surely it's not going to be bigger than this plastic system here, at least to start with. We'll see how that goes. And then um, sooner, and then once I get a bit more comfortable with it, I can build something on the beginning. So the problem with the, the, the problem with this is I'm going to need to do quite a lot more research first. And to be honest, I should have been doing that while I was talking. Um, so let's have a look through here. So I'm going to need this one in order to get the processed iron, which means I need to get this first. So let's get strand casting. So this is going to require quite a lot of research to be done. I think there's going to be quite a lot of advanced smelting options I need to build up I suspect. So there's that one to get the the processed iron then there's this one that's, and a number three to get the iron pellets uh, that's sort of optional though that was the one that boosts it from three quarters to one. Then there's this one advanced iron, so that's smelting three as well and that'll get me to the ingots. I'm going to need to get limestone in from somewhere as well I want that one, I want that one that I've already got, that I've already got I'm also considering doing this iron sheet coil thing. Uh, this is quite nice because it gets me, firstly it's a bit easier to transport because the um, an iron sheet coil can be turned into um, four iron plates but you can pack, I, I imagine you'll be able to pack a lot more of them into a train so for transporting stuff around this could be quite useful. Um, I don't actually gain anything from using this recipe however if I use this recipe which also requires coolant so you know another complication this gets me um, only 100, so this one requires 100 this one requires 80 molten iron to make two sheet steel cores, so that's 40 each. This one requires 140 to make four, so it's only 35 each. So that'll get me another 5% um, ish. To... So I'm not sure if it's really worth it, but it's something I can always tack on at the end just to make things a little bit more efficient. <clears throat> now that's finished. I can get iron smelting two, get that running, and then I'll do iron smelting three and get that one running. And I think that might be everything I need. However, the other thing I was considering doing while I was waiting for that to all build up, and I may sort of dip in and out of that, is to have another look at LTN, or to have a proper look at LTN. Yeah, there we go. Um, an LTN is the system that allows the um, stations to basically request a train, uh, or request resources when they need one. A bit like the, um, the logistics bots, really. So um, the idea is that a station will say, I'm running out of plastic, I need some more plastic. That'll send a message to the to the LTN network, and if there's another station that says I've got loads of plastic, a train will automatically be dispatched to the station that's got all the plastic to go and pick it up and take it to the other one. Now my plan was um, previously I was thinking for these sort of stations and there's sulphur and plastic and so on, all these ones that have relatively um, 
that aren't in, in constant use, that have relatively low demand, I could have those all on LTN. The Sapphirite mines, I'm not sure about, because, well, as we, we saw earlier, there was a hell of a lot of demand for this but from here. But that was when, I can't even remember why there was so much demand for iron at the time. I think it was all, of the, all the ammunition that was being produced. And now that's sort of not fallen apart, but is, is in much much lower demand. So I don't, I don't really need it as much. So I think a lot of these, and, and then a lot of these could quite happily just be requesting things on demand. So I think I'm going to have a wander around and think and uh, read read up a little bit about LTN. So I'll come back to you in a moment when I, once I've had a look at that. Okay, I'm going to start off with the plastic and sulfur stations and probably the rubite as well because they're all down in that sort of they're all in a relatively similar area. And I think they all and they all are fairly low demand as well. They we're not getting through those um What's the word I'm looking for? Not getting through those resources all that quickly. I'll come down here and probably immediately find I don't have half the stuff I need to do. What are they building? Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, so first thing is to have some LTN stations, for which I need... Oh, uh, interest. I need more iron. I need red and green cables, which are made from insulated wire. <laughs> I should be used to this by now, which needs rubber and tinned copper. Where does rubber come? Resin. Okay. Am I doing that over here already? I've got resin here. I think this is, yeah, res that's resin. Okay, but I'm not making it into in insulated copper wires. It requires tinned wire and resin, insulted wires, rubber and tinned copper wire. So I've got tinned copper wire up here, and I've got resin down here. So this looks like a sensible place to make some make some insulated wires, and then the other things as well. Okay, <laughs> back on the road then. It's a bit different to vanilla, where you can throw those sort of cables together um, just with, I think it's a basic circuit, so a green circuit, and um, and and some copper, uh, copper copper turns into copper wire, admittedly, but yeah, it's a basic idea. <laughs> there we go. Stop without crushing anything. That's nice. It makes a nice change. Okay, so we need this over here. I'm going to need some of these. Yes, and the quantity of this. Okay, let's hope these are the right ones. So I want to make I want to make insulated wire in the top one. I want to make rubber in the bottom one. Okay, what furnace? Right. Uh, do I have... No, I only have steel furnaces at this point. So I'm going to need a supply of fuel here as well. Luckily there's not that wood down there. I think that'll do because I'm not going to try and belt coal over here. Them. I don't suppose resin works as a fuel, does it? <laughs> Let's find out. No. I could hope. That. Embrace the spaghetti. And what if I want to make green and red wire? What does that take? Oh, that just takes the um, interior cables. Nice. That. And that. I can make both of those. Drop in a power pole there. That should power everything. There we go. Nice. I'm going to need some 